The last two weeks, I've had two phone calls from customers who wanted to adjust the amount of swivel on their twisters or swivel thumbs. One wanted to make it tighter, one wanted to make it looser. Let's find out how to do that. The swivel thumbs or twisters are very, very popular right now. They help with carpal tunnel problems. You can adjust the haircut because you can turn it different ways. They're a little hard to get used to, but once you do, it's sort of like driving an automatic car. You never want to go back to a stick shift. So if you have one of these twisters and you think it needs to turn easier or you want it to turn tighter, and there's different styles. This one just turns one way. This one we call it kind of a double rocker. It'll turn this way and that way. What you're going to need to do is find the right tool to adjust it, and you probably already have it. Take a look here, and you're going to see that this one uses just a regular screwdriver. Some will use a Phillips head, some will require a hex tool, different types of tools, most commonly just a regular screwdriver. Take a look at this one. It's the same thing, just a regular screwdriver. So look through your screwdrivers and your bits, and you may not have this big a selection, but you probably don't need that big a selection. But in my case, this one is going to be the right size. I'm going to simply take my screwdriver and put it into the slot and turn it. Now, I have very, very weak hands. Sometimes I cannot turn it. Let's say I want to tighten it, so I'm going to turn it right. If I don't hold the thumb hole down, See, it's just going to turn on me. So I have to keep this stationary. Now, I find it easier to pop the ring out. And if you have a stick or something else you can put in here, it gives you a little bit more leverage. And then I can come in here. Oops, don't cut yourself. Be careful as you're doing this. I wouldn't do this up in the air. I would lay it on a table, but I'm trying to demonstrate this. But I'm going to come in here, tighten it. I'm holding the ring and I have tightened that ring down and at this point it doesn't move as much. I can tighten it a little bit more until it's the right adjustment. Righty tighty remember lefty loosey. I did about that much of a turn and it still will turn on me but it's not as loose and as floppy. I don't particularly like that. I like it a little bit looser. So I'm going to loosen it up. Now, if you're constantly tightening it and loosening it, you may find that eventually it's just going to come off. Now, don't lose the little washers in here, although we do sell them. But try not to lose the little washers in here, and you're going to need to just screw it back on. My suggestion, if you have to screw it back on, use a little glue. My suggestion on that, I really like the blue Loctite. It means you can take it back out if you need to, but it'll hold a little bit tighter. So you may want to use a little bit of that when you put it back together if you're finding it is coming off. That's how to adjust this one. Same way on this. Now, if you want to adjust the way this turns, that can be a little bit more problematic. That doesn't have the spacers. It's a metal spacer in here. So you're not going to have as much control over this. People that buy this shear buy it because they like it to turn a lot. If you don't like that movement, go with the one that's just going to turn one swivel. So on this one, I can tighten it on how much it turns this way. And the customer I had actually requested that his turn looser. So I'm going to loosen this up. Usually you can just hold that with your fingers and remember lefty loosey, we're turning this way. We're turning counterclockwise and I'm just holding that and I did this much of a turn. And that turns a lot more freely. So this shear is going to give you a lot of movement. And we have a lot of people that love this shear and we have others that they get it and they don't like it. Uh, it's important that if you do buy a shear that has a rotating thumb or a swivel thumb or a rocking 
thumb or twister, whatever the terminology is, that you have some type of a warranty or guarantee so that if you can't get used to it, you can exchange it for a regular type of shear. But for those that do get used to it, like I said, it can be a life-changing tool. Don't be afraid of them. Try them. I've heard two ways of getting used to them. One is to use them for one haircut the first day, the next day two haircuts. Try to work your way up. I've also heard that you just leave your old shears at home, force yourself to use them, and it's sort of like quitting cold turkey. So whatever method works best for you, it's worth getting used to this type of a shear because, look, uh, this is my relaxed hand. I'm going to fit it in a relaxed hand. And you see, even if I don't turn it, even if I tighten this down where it barely turns at all, that's just going to be a much more comfortable position for most people, most of their hands. Uh, less strain on their hands. Same thing goes with the other type of thumb hole. You see, it's much more relaxed. That's a relaxed position of my hand. My thumb is coming across from my middle finger, closer to my pointer finger, and my thumb is not down here like on most shears. So that creates a little bit more of a stress and a strain. So these are worth exploring. Find out what works and feels best for you. Shears are like cars. You've got to test drive them. If you want to know more about shears, sharpening, anything has to do with um, the equipment that you use to cut hair with at barbers, groomers, and uh, also hair salons. 